Alright guys, so today we're going to do AutoCAD Architecture 2026. You can see I've already unzipped the installer. So we're going to open that folder, which goes under Downloads with the newer versions. But we'll just make sure it's all there. Go back. <coughs> and we're going to drag it into our Autodesk Input folder. Under the Autodesk folder. And just like with CAD, I like to get rid of some spacing. So we'll do this. Notice this installs a little bit bigger. Always has been <coughs> for the extra features. And since we already have our PowerShell script, I'm going to open it. Um, the only thing that's really going to change here between AutoCAD and AutoCAD architecture is kind of our folder path. So we're going to keep this one like this. It's exact same silent. So we're going to do the same kind of thing here. We'll save this. Go back folder. We'll rename this. I just like to keep my scripts named correctly. So AutoCAD Arch. And we're going to run the install. So We'll do this in PowerShell to do a test. And we're going to go to our team folder, put Autodesk, and we're going to make sure we remember our quotes today. Then we're going to run our PowerShell. And let that run. <clears throat> this will just make sure the install goes fine. The nice thing here is because your PowerShell script's first step is to um, take this and copy into your C drive. So as soon as this folder is fully here, it's going to install from here. So if you want to go ahead and package up your file, you can do that too. So we'll let that run um, as kind of our test. Again, you don't have to wait. We'll see it kick off in just a minute. See the setup kind of going. And Let that run just for a minute before we start making our new app. You can already see some of the installers kicking off. Um, some of the requirements it'll check kind of go through all this. <clears throat> Alright, so let's open up another PowerShell. Go to our Intune folder. We're going to make a package, so we're using this one. And put Autodesk. We have our PowerShell script as a setup file. Now, the one thing here is if you mistype it or anything, it'll tell you the file doesn't exist, so you'll know. I'll put, say no. We're going to get our package. And the package names always take the name of your setup file. Um, so that's why my scripts always kind of mimic whatever it is uh, in terms of naming. So you'll see that when we look at the output package. See the Autodesk installer kicking off. Um, so this one is running.
and you'll know it's done too when this PowerShell that you launch a script from kind of lets you know um, that there's another command line or another entry. So we got these two things running. See the PC is going. So now, just in terms in terms of specs, the machine I'm using is an i7. It's an older one. There's a lot of memory on this machine, which helps um, kind of packaging, installing. Um, but you know, nothing, nothing crazy. Just a, an older desktop. The one thing you do want to make sure is you have enough space for these packages. So um, you don't want to run out of space. If the packaging script runs out of space, the file will fail, all that kind of stuff. We'll have to speed up this this part of the video a little bit. things going. So one thing we can do um, while that's sort of running is we will start to kind of make our our app, right? So we have um, 2025 architecture to use as kind of a template. Um, so we're going to go Obviously, we can't upload just yet, but we know it's a Win32. So, we will do that. As soon as this is done, we'll get our package, but we'll just go to the output folder. And like I said in the last video, when this speed, this will kind of speed up in the second half because then it's just more of the zipping process than the actual packaging. Um, but this is gonna gonna fly through. And we can see our install is still running. You can see that. Sorry if you heard the kids yelling in the background. They are taking care of our dogs. Got that going. This is still running. You see the package is almost done. It's doing the final zip it ups. You, you don't see the size yet, kind of till the end. So, that's still running. Alright, so our package is done. We're going to start making the app. As always, I like to go find the help just to link it and to grab um, the icon. So we'll use this as our icon, a little screen grab. 
and company portal. That's fine. We take the link here to put into the app we're creating. So informational URL. We'll select this logo that we just saved. So pictures, screenshots, uh, the one we just did. So I'll say OK there. Um, and for description, take a little bit of kind of the what's new. You know, this will just copy and paste in the text, really, but to let staff have that option so they can go and click on the link, see some of the what's new kind of in there. Again, your publisher is required, so put an auto desk 2026 for the version. And then we start stepping through. So, you know, our 2025, you can see our PowerShell script is named very similar. Um, we'll just copy that in. One thing I'm going to remind you of is check you don't have spaces in your copy. Um, that will, you know, basically say I can't find it sometimes. Put in the NA for now. Um, let's see if our install is done. Um, looks like still still running a little bit, so we're going to let that go. We'll leave that. Requirements, 64-bit. I just pick a Windows 10 version. It doesn't really matter, but you know, you got to pick one. Uh, we'll use a manual detection. So you know, we'll go look at an uninstall key. So we're gonna go registry. And here we're gonna start looking for AutoCAD architecture. So we can see it's starting to load, right? So I'm going to move that out of the way. It's not completely done yet, but AutoCAD architecture is just about there. Um, you know, because it's running kind of in the background, we just kind of wait till it's done. Once that desktop shortcut shows up, we know it's just about finished. So, um, but you can start to use these keys. Like you see, this is the key for it. That's fine. It's showing you the install location. Because of the way the AutoCAD versioning works, that's why you can't really target like the EXE file because it's all the same EXE for the most part. It's just like a different profile for the uh, CAD install, you know, CAD launch. So um, we like to target this, this for these specifically, or we'll find another key. Um, a lot of times under software in the registry, Autodesk has its own. Um, so we'll go back up just to find some Autodesk keys. So you'll find some of the stuff here. We use a lot of this depending on um, patching. Like when you do an update, you'll see like the update versions here, very particular for Revit. Um, a lot of the licensing keys are identity manager versioning. You can use these as a target. Um, with CAD, it's kind of hit or miss. Um, there are some you can find, um, but um, definitely like to use the uninstall keys because that it's also something we need later, um, so you'll you'll see me use that a lot um, for for the packages we make. So scroll back down. Let's find find it again. So we got AutoCAD Architecture 2026. So we're going to use this one in our detection rules. So we're going to say Registry Key. We're going to target this. that there. We're going to go with display name. Again, for the key path, just make sure you don't have a space before or after. Um, the registry is very particular about spacing. So we do value exists, or sorry, we do string comparison equals, and then we do exactly what's in the field. Um, doing the string comparison equals is uh, very helpful also when you're doing like something with multiple versions. You, you'll use display version. You'll see me do that when we make a licensing package or desktop connector. I'll target the version so it, it is on the same version. But for now, we'll take this, copy it in, say OK. Dependencies, since it's the main app, there isn't any that we put in here. No supersedence because we allow our staff to pick the versions they want. And again, 
make it available to all users um, automatically roll out um, so we'll go ahead and create it when you create it it'll save and start uploading your package um, and that's kind of it um, did want to show you know you know kind of the 2026 we made um, we'll go to apps and look at Uh, one thing, so like 2026, you can see I ran the install on the machine after uploading it just to make sure it worked, and there we go. Um, so we'll do the same with this. We'll let it upload. Um, it can take some time, depending on your package. You know, regular CAD was 3 gigs. This is four, almost 4.5, four um, but that'll go ahead and upload and then be available in Company Portal within 15-20 minutes. Um, but that's kind of it. I hope you all have a good one.